Hi there guys and welcome. Today I'm going to be talking about some gadgets for camera geeks like me. I have some products prepared that I own myself and I think they're good and useful and would make an awesome addition to anyone's camera gear. So let's get started. Okay, the first product I want to talk about is an ND filter. It's a neutral density filter. Basically, these make your, your image darker. When using it for photography, you can do long exposures. And for example, if you're using it for video, you can keep uh, your shutter speed at, for example, 1 over 50th for when you're using 20, 24p. And you can adjust your aperture without uh, burning the image. You can get these like this in small increments, ND2, ND4, ND8. Or what I like using the most is a variable ND filter. When you move it, you can see it gets darker and the other way around, lighter. I like using these because it's a lot quicker, especially for video. Um, you don't have to keep on changing the filter. So I like using this. Also a tip from my side, I normally buy the biggest filter thread size and then I have these adapter rings which are much cheaper than obviously buying a, uh, an ND filter for each size and then I just adapt it. You can just basically adapt it to smaller rings. Once you have the biggest one you can always adapt it to smaller lens threads. So the adapters could be another gift idea. And whilst we're on the adapters and filters a UV isn't a bad idea if you have a really expensive lens and you want to protect it. It doesn't do anything to the image quality unless you buy a really cheap one. I have one from BMW. These are really good. So yeah, protect your lenses with a UV filter. The next thing I want to talk about is a camera cage. I have one here from Small Rig for my ZV-E1. It adds extra grip because the camera body is really small. It adds extra protection and if you need some more accessories like a video light, a microphone, you can add it to it. It has all over the cage screws so you can add more stuff like a small rig clamp or basically anything you need to it. The next thing I want to talk about is a bit of audio equipment. Microphones. These are very important because the cameras do not have really good integrated microphones in them. So a good microphone is good. I have this one. This is the VideoMic NTG and I also have a Rode Mic Mini, a VideoMic Mini, which is also really good. Different price points, different um, uh, use cases, but I'm really happy with both and I would recommend both depending on your use case and your budget. Wireless microphones. This is a great addition for any content creator. You can attach one of them to your camera and the other one to yourself and you have wireless audio and you can forget about all the cables which are often tripping hazards. I have these here from Rode, they're called the Wireless Goes, but there are so many options out there. Just have a look and see what best suits your needs. I want to carry on talking about audio. Headphones is a really important thing. I have these here from Biodynamic, they're called the 770 Pros. It has a really comfortable over-ear design, has a robust build quality and the frequency response is tailored for critical listening. I myself am a sound engineer, that's what I did before I started doing all this video stuff and I find these headphones to be really good quality. Maybe an addition for your gear? So the next thing I want to talk about is a video dolly. If you want to up your production value, you might consider getting one of these. It gives you really like smooth cinematic uh, movement on your camera. You can use it for video to do like really nice smooth shots or to do time lapses with photography. If you're looking for something cheaper, smaller and portable, you might consider something like this. This is a really cool option. This will hold around 1.5 kilos, which basically allows you to put any uh, mirrorless DSLR onto this. Okay, so moving to lighting, something like this, small light, it's RGB, it's even magnetic. It has a lot of really cool modes on it. This is battery powered, you can charge it with a USB-C cable and it lasts a long time. I own two of these and they help me to 
accentuate stuff in my studio or I even use it sometimes on my CVE-1 uh, camera rig to get some more light for my video footage. Similar to this light is a tube light like this. It has also a lot of features on it, it's RGB, it is battery powered and you can charge it with a USB-C cable and I think it's a really good addition for any videographer or photographer because it's light, it's portable and it gives you a really good light. If you're looking for a bigger and more powerful light, you can go for the Godox SL60 or 60SL. This is what I'm using at the moment here and I have one in the background. I'll get it down. Don't fit. This light here, great little addition. It's powerful, it has 60 watts, but it's more than enough to have it in your studio or if you're doing some, some film work or even for photography, it's also very good as you have a constant light source and you can see the results already before you take the shot. Okay, now still on the light theme, but this time for photography, a good flash is very important. I have this one here from Godox, it's the TT350S and it's a really good flash for the price. It is very valuable due to its compact size and its powerful output, making it highly portable while providing sufficient light for various photography situations. Additionally, its versatility, including wireless control capabilities and adjusting settings, makes it a convenient and user-friendly choice for photographers seeking reliable lighting solutions. I've used this in various scenarios and it's always worked wonders for me. So, a good addition. Another cool thing to have in your camera bag will be a multi-tool like this. You never know when you're gonna need some pliers, you're gonna need a saw, you're gonna need a knife, you're gonna need a screwdriver. It even has a glass window breaker in case of an emergency, you never know. So this is always a good thing to have in your camera bag. Another very useful piece of equipment is a sling like this. I have one from Hammer, but there are so many makes and models and different types, sometimes with a metal cable here so they, they can't cut the, 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 the strap when you're on holiday and so on. Basically you just hang it like this and you attach the camera here and you can always bring the camera up and down as you please. Pretty good for when you're on holiday or even at, if you're a wedding photographer or a wedding videographer, you can have your camera hanging and you can bring it up whenever you need it and you have your two hands free. How about a vintage camera? Just for decoration or maybe to use it. Really cool option is something like this. It's a Canon AE-1. It's one of the most uh, common um, 35 millimeter uh, photo film cameras there are. They're, it's easy to use and it's a really cool present. If you're starting out with analog photography, something like this could be a good gift. Obviously there are smaller options maybe cheaper or maybe you're into medium format or you want to get into medium format or you know someone that wants to get into medium format, something like this. It has a six by six centimeter or six by eight centimeter depending on the, on the cartridge uh, film on it. And you can get really awesome big pictures with these cameras. This is a Bronica, a Sensa Bronica, a really cool gadget to learn analog photography or even just to have it on your shelf looking nice. I happen to have a lot of these analog cameras because I like them a lot, I like shooting with them. All of my cameras work and I think it's a really cool um, way to explore photography and to learn new things. SD cards, you can never have enough SD cards. The amount of SD cards that you use, especially when you're doing a uh, 4K video at what 120p that I can do with my CVE-1 or some of the newer cameras, the A7R5 that has 60 megapixels, you need memory cards, loads of them. Always a great gift for any content creator in general. You can never have enough of these. Okay, so we're coming to an end now and I want to talk to you about something a little bit off topic and that's a watch. A great piece of equipment so you're never late to your appointments and it also looks awesome. I'm a really big fan of Psycho watches. This one in particular is the SKX009, also known as the Pepsi because it has the blue and the red ring. 
It has a calendar and it's waterproof up to 200 meters. That's pretty cool. Like I said earlier, I'm a big fan of these Psycho watches and I have a few of them. I'll put these four in the description just in case you wanna have a look at them on the internet. One last off topic thing I wanna show you are these collector cards. I have a few of them. I'm a Mandalorian fan. I like Michael Jordan a lot. So I've bought myself some of these collector cards. You can put them on a pedestal like this and you can place them on your table or on your shelf and it just looks really nice and it's a collector's item, so it will keep its value or go up in value, so a pretty cool thing to have. Okay, I hope you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Take care, bye bye.